On another note, Mountain Coffee has changed ownership and now it's called uh, Corner Cafe here in Agassiz. If you guys haven't been to Agassiz Corner Cafe, make sure you check it out because they have like uh, chocolate mousse along with uh, really good mochas and really good gourmet food. There's an actual gourmet chef that's actually doing all the food and stuff in here now. So yeah, if you live in Harrison or Chilliwack or even even the lower mainland and you're coming out to Harrison Hot Springs or whatever, as you go through Agassiz, make sure you stop at the Corner Cafe. It's, it's actually awesome, you should check it out. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to your Natural Land Body Bling and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what is the purpose behind a rep and, and this is spurred from a comment I had in the, in the comments. I always get the odd stupid comment as you know. I mean it, it's, just, it's just normal. The reason why I call them stupid comments is because a lot of the comments have a lot of assumptions in them. It's, it's not like uh, it's just because a person doesn't know any better. It, it's not like that as much as it is about I get certain people that make comments based on a lot of assumptions about why I'm doing what I'm doing and, and usually the assumption is is that oh you just can't do a full rep so that's why you're not doing one or you're not locking out because you just can't do it you know that kind of stuff so it's all this ego stuff so that's why I call them stupid comments it's not because they don't know uh, certain things but because they turn it into a bit of a you know a, a bit of a pissing contest you know what I'm saying a little bit of a, a competition match or some sort of alpha male versus beta male you know, beta male can't do a full rep, so there's something wrong with them. So one thing I just wanted to say is, a lot of things, the, the thing that got lost a lot in bodybuilding over the last 10 or 15 years on social media is this, is that people have more invested interest in just competing with other people instead of really seeing if the competition is producing something that is useful for them. And what I mean by this is that, Sometimes people are so busy trying to be better than somebody else at something, but they're never thinking about, is being better at that something else productive for them? Is it producing results? Is it helping them when it comes down to whatever goals they have in mind, right? So on that note, what I wanna say about repetitions or performing an exercise is, the purpose behind performing an exercise if you're a natural bodybuilder and you wanna put on muscle is to stimulate a muscle. So if you're finding that when you're locking out, you know, just short of locking out, because I never, never actually, I never condone full lockouts, but, but if you're doing a full repetition, and you're noticing that when you perform this full repetition, that a muscle is hitting failure that you don't want to hit failure, and the, fail, the muscle that you do want to hit failure is, is not even actually getting fatigued because of whatever muscles are being stimulated, obviously you need to change the exercise, or you need to stimulate the muscle in a different way. So that means changing the range of motion or staying within a certain range of motion to make sure that whatever prescribed muscle that you want to hit failure is hitting failure. Now I remember this discovery first happening to me when I was around 19 years old, 18, actually 18, I was about 18 years old, and I was in the gym in, uh, on vacation basically, and there was this dude there, and he was doing these repetitions, but he wasn't locking out of the top, and he was just pumping his chest, and he had the biggest freaking most developed chest I'd ever seen at that time in person. Uh, especially for a guy that age, right? Because this, this guy was only around 20 years old or so. And I saw him when he was performing his repetitions with 225. He was not locking out, but yet his chest development was supreme. It was crazy, it was, it was unreal. So I started to realize, hey, wait a second, there's different ways to perform an exercise. And it's not like when you're locking out, at the time when I was locking out on bench press, I was finding that my delts were hitting failure all the time. Sometimes my triceps, most of the time my delts were hitting failure. So I had really good developed delts, but my chest was really lacking at the time. And then I started to play around with bench presses, play around with exercises, play around with where am I feeling that tension? Where am I feeling the stimulus? What muscle is actually hitting failure? And I started to get a lot of results. Now, of course, um, you know, years later, of course, I dislocated a shoulder and stuff like that in hockey and stuff. So that kind of killed my chest development to a certain point. Um, but at the same time, during my professional career, when I was bodybuilding, my chest was never the weak link ever. You know, before my career ending shoulder injuries, my, my chest was never the weak link. So one of the ways that I achieved chest development or arm development or any of the muscle development that I got was from performing a range of motion strategically, finding out where am I feeling the muscle, what part of the range of motion am I feeling the muscle, and then use most of my energy 
through that range of motion instead of just locking out for the sake of locking out and then the muscle I want to hit not even hitting failure in the first place. So yeah, there's, a, there's some benefits to doing full reps, I guess, but when it comes down to certain muscles that aren't even actually getting stimulated, you have to become more strategic, right? And you're going to notice like, after you do full reps for a period of time, you're going to notice that there's going to be certain parts of your body that are developing and certain parts of your body that are not developing. And because of this, that's when you start to incorporate some strategic ranges of motion or strategic exercises. And bodybuilders, old school bodybuilders and golden era guys did this since the dawn of time. They were always finding ways to stimulate those weak links because that's what the whole point of bodybuilding was is to say, okay, where are my weak links? How do I stimulate the muscle? How do I create more balance in the physique? And if it was just so simple as performing full reps, then these guys wouldn't have had to develop any sort of strategies around, you know, building different parts of the body, right? Oh, it's amazing, I can do that. Oh, 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 oh. I feel a lot of triceps, a lot of delts, but I don't feel my chest, not really. That's just, that's just what I discovered. Might be different for you. Obviously full reps are not enough for every single body part, or at least not for everybody. You know, some people, it doesn't matter what they do, they already have the perfect proportions, but other people might not have those perfect proportions or they're looking to stimulate a different area or they've got injuries like I have, you know, from hockey and stuff now, and uh, or other things going on that are causing the body to not move properly, right? So say when I'm doing a dumbbell press, when I'm pressing and then I go to bring the dumbbells in, all I'm doing is like counterbalancing it's kind of like walking on my hips, you know what I mean? Like there's no extra tension for me to bring those dumbbells in. There's none. Basically my shoulder's sitting in the labrum room farther forward and it's basically just coming across the body but I'm not contracting the muscle. People think just because you move a body part around that you're automatically contracting a muscle but if there's no tension on the muscle, there's no contraction. Gravity goes straight up and down. If I'm laying on a bench and gravity is going this way and then all I'm doing is taking an arm and going from here to here, I'm not necessarily getting any stimulus. If anything, all it's doing is maybe isometrically, I'm just keeping the shoulder in one piece as I lock out or extend my arm, but that's not necessarily going to be stimulating more chest mass or the muscles I want to hit. So yeah, you got to remember, like you only have a certain amount of energy to use in a set and using all of that energy towards your purpose or your goal is really the goal. That's it. And I find some people's goal is Oh, can I just lock out? It's like, yeah, I can lock out. I lock out all the time on reps. I can do it all the time. I can do it all the time if I want. But the thing is, I do not get the result from that. And that's why I don't do it. It's not because I can't. So you have to decide to strategically use the energy all towards that one muscle you want to hit and really overstimulate the shit out of that. And then that's what's going to cause the body to adapt and to grow. Mountain. So basically, do what works, you know what I mean? Just use full range of motion, use partial range of motion. Whatever range of motion works and doesn't injure you is closer to the truth than just doing blindly just some range of motion because that's supposedly the best. Because I've talked about this before, active range of motion is different than passive range of motion. Obviously, it's easier to sit on your heels if you're just using body weight or no weight as opposed to using 500 pounds, right? There's going to be a different threshold on what is the right and proper range of motion to keep your joints in one piece and to build muscle. So yeah, whatever works in the end, that's really what matters. And that's what I do. I just, I've come to this deeply refined way of moving from 30 years of training and finding out that this is the right way for me to move. And over and over and over again, I've done many experiments and found out it's the truth. And it's what produced the results that won me competitions at a national level. 
and uh, got me to where I was and where I am today. That's right. Now let's go for a swim. Let's go. Let's go right in there. Right in there. In. Eh. Looks good, huh? Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, one, two, three. You know, wait, wait a second. Wait, wait a second. I'm just going to let you guys go first. Just go first. I'll, I'll, I'll follow you in. I'll follow you in and uh, I'll just uh, make sure you make sure there's no sea monsters in there and uh, and you don't catch pneumonia and die. But yeah, you, you, you just, just go for it. Just go. Don't be a wimp. Don't be a wimp. Just go for it. Full range of motion in the lake. Do it. Do it. I dare you. I double dog dare you. So I hope that helps refresh you guys. I hope it helps to refresh you on why I'm doing what I'm doing. But, but yeah, it's amazing to me. How many people just misunderstand that simple concept? You know, I never had to debate so much back in the day, and it's not because people are smarter now, I'll tell you that. It's, <laughs> people just would automatically assume that, hey, if you're doing something, they would just kind of give you the benefit of the doubt. They're like, oh, well, you, you, you must be doing that for a reason, right? Now, everybody thinks the reason is just ego, and oh, you just can't lift weight otherwise, and that's why you do it that way, you're just cheating, right? It's, it's just the weirdest thing, it's just like so much, uh, there's so much doubt, so much uh, negativity. But anyway, now you know why I do it. Most of you guys already know, but in case you don't know, that's why I do it. It's because I'm trying to stimulate a muscle on purpose. I'm trying to make sure all the energy is going towards that one muscle group or that muscle that I want to hit that's having trouble getting uh, enough s stimulus in order to grow. And I'm trying to put all the energy towards that. And hence, that's why I use strategic range of motion or sometimes a certain exercise or whatever, right? So anyway, I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get older, just go to naturalandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the patient supporters and take care for now. Mountain. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's amazing I can do that. Ooh. 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 Ooh.